Welcome back, everybody, to the PPA Bubbly Team Championships. They're presented by MGM Rewards. We are at the gorgeous Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino here in Las Vegas, Nevada. And now we've got an epic showdown. Cameron Blackwood is here with me. I'm Dave Fleming, and it's a battle of the sexes. We've got Anna Lee Water and Jesse Irvin playing Jack Sock. And John Isner, what do you think you're gonna see? If Waters and Irvin play full out, it's gonna be bloody. It's it's gonna be a quick in and out here, and we're gonna go to dinner early if they play full out. But we'll see. I, I really think that you know they're gonna maybe extend the rallies a little bit longer, get the guys into a rhythm, and then finish out some points here. I don't see them maybe going full out. All right, so we're gonna just play. One game to 11 regular scoring, win by one. So uh, can the tennis stars show us what they've learned all day long? Cameron Blackwood is shaking her head saying this is gonna be Irvin and Waters running them over. I, I'm excited. I'm about to get out of this truck and hop in for a point or two. And there's a great start for Isner and Sock. Zero, zero, one. Now they're wishing it was rally scoring because they would have had a point. And a gorgeous ATP from Jesse Irvin. Woo. Oh, and there's a lot of chatter on that court right now. Again, everything regular scoring here. Two serves on your side. There's Jack Sock, the tennis star. Well, the tennis guy scrapped together a point there, but uh, couldn't hang in there till the end. So, 0-0 zero, zero zero, remains. Zero, Isner's playing much better, though. He's yes. really hitting those drops that he was missing earlier today. So I think they're, it's going to be a, maybe more of a battle than we had anticipated. But these women are coming out on top. OK, so Cam is full woman power here, as is everyone else in the truck. I'm a girl dad. Let's go, ladies. One, zero, two. Uh-oh. Isner pushes that return wide. Two, zero, two. And there's those hands that you have seen across the ATP tour on this tennis channel. This duo won zero, two, Indian one. Wells together and played pickleball with yours truly the day before. That's wow, how much they that. love pickleball and Second tennis serve. coming together. Sock could play zero, hours two, at a time. One of the best doubles players in the game, as is Isner with that huge serve. And that's where the guys are going to get in trouble, is going to be up at the kitchen line. From the back, they have great ground strokes. They, they know how to move on the court. From tennis, you have a lot of court sense, so they have that. But when it comes time to creating patterns with that softer Second touch serve. with the dinks, that's where you're going to see the ladies just come out on top and really pick their moments to hit a speed up, jam them up. Oh, and a dribbler in front of Isner. Three, zero, two. And I, I hear some numbers being thrown out. I had, oh, and a tough bounce of two points in a row where Lady Luck was on the side of the ladies. Five zip, Waters and Irvin. And the threat 
of AL. And that's what's different transitioning from Six tennis to pickleball is you have a little bit more time. Tennis is a little bit slower, but when you're in pickleball and you're up in that kitchen line, things move quickly. And just that little movement right there to your peripheral can cause a mishit, hit, and that's what happened with Isner. Oh, get up, Jack Sock. Oh, no. And then Isner can't finish it. What a get by Anna Lee there. It is not a tennis ball, folks. <laughs> that pickleball is coming back. Yeah, because Sock usually hits that into the 200th row in the tennis facilities. And Irvin goes back behind Sock, and that goose egg looks very, very, very dangerous on the scoreboard. We are on Tennis Channel, and Isner and Sock have love. Nine zip. Nine zero two. I like that idea from Sock. They're trying to go behind and soften up the game. They're going to have to extend these rallies to see if they can. Oh, and he goes tweener into the net. And that is it for game number one here. So we're going to take a quick break, and we will return. Can Isner and Sock score a point? We hope so after this. Welcome back, everybody. Dave Fleming with Cameron Blackwood, and you are staring at a couple of tennis stars who have won a lot of matches on Tennis Channel. We are just seeing if they can win a single point against two of the best women's pickleball players in the world. Here we go. through and has got the crowd behind him and holds up the index finger, not indicating he's number one, indicating that he's got one point. And that's exactly what they need to do right now. It's oh, no. Well, not that. <laughs> not that. They don't need don't to do, do that. that. But the point before what they did so well is they, they slowed it down. Zero they got a lot more Zero hits on the ball. And ended up coming on top, so I'd love to see them settle back in. And that, that's what they're going to have to do is just get up to the kitchen line, create more opportunities, <laughs> pick their moments of when they're wanting to speed it up because these girls have too good of hands for, for them to come out on top in those hands battles. Yeah, I have a feeling tennis stars are going to be sharing that video with Mr. Sock, much to his chagrin. Second serve. Just needed that little extension. He's used to the, one, to one, the racket, not the paddle. Yeah. Oh. Point. And Jesse Irvin says, hello. right in the corner. Two, two. That was a great play by those ladies. Spread them apart, pick the open court, hit right behind Sock. Side out. Side out off the net court, so a lot of laughter here. There's a good look at Jack Sock. Yeah, let's do that again. <laughs> one, two, one. We're just trying to get the referee to call the score for us. These boys are used to having the score called well before they're ready to serve. Oh, and Jack Sock is feeling frisky. Run around backhand after switching sides off the tape in the corner. Off a dink. I, I, I mean, I expect sometimes if you want to come over because you're looking to finish the point, but I, it was just a simple switch off a dink, and here we have it. Here we have it. Why not? Sock on the left now. Is there on the right? Okay. And here we go. Big man ready. Three, two, one. And they've got the lead. Oh. Second serve. Bad luck off the tape there. But 
Three, two. Do as once. Isner tried, I'd say an ill-advised speed up there, Cameron. Yeah, and what I like, I would like them to switch back. I like Isner on the right, and I like Sock on the left. I think Sock's just had maybe a little bit more time on court. He can create a little bit more opportunity. So I'd like him to go ahead and stay on the left side, but maybe not. There but you have Isner hitting a nice. John Isner says, uh, Cameron Blackwood, hold my beer. Look at this little lovely shot. I can stay shot. on the left side. <laughs> yeah. I'll give him that. Yeah, come on, man. I can reach the right side from over here. And John Isner finishes again. So, no damage done. Three, two, one. Look at Sock Hustle. And look what we have here. That is a just disgusting get from Jack Sock. And he, it was unattackable. That, it was such an incredible, it reminded me a lot of Catherine Parento, how she can yes. really slide and stay low, get that ball over into the kitchen. Good idea from Iz there, just couldn't finish it. Getting a lot of encouragement from the crowd here, and boy would he love to serve overhand. Just catches a line. Oh, top spin lob from Sock, and it's a beauty. <laughs> and a very sad overhead from Isner. Couldn't see it in the lights. And yet they come through. Wow. I am loving this confidence that after go heading into game two, I, I want to know the conversation that yes. was said and, and the coaching that they got from from the other teammates down there. To, this is a different team here from Isner and Sock. Yeah. Oh, man, they didn't need that. Okay, so there was even a chest bump in there in the middle. Bad luck here. Sock can't believe it. So it's 5-2 tennis pros. Okay, Second the touch from the big man. Six feet, 10 inches of finesse. He's almost the size of the entire kitchen. There's a great ball too there. Georgia tennis star. Of course, won the longest match in the history of tennis at Wimbledon. And is now showing his touch on a pickleball court inside Mandalay Bay. What a life. Oh. And Annalie Waters tries to show her finesse and finds the net, and we are 6-2-1. Six, six, and Sock ripping forehands, 7-2-1. And you see the frustration with the, these women because when you play true tennis players in pickleball, you do come out hot in the first game. You get a because they're not set in yet. But then you head into the second game and they're ripping these ground strokes yeah. right here. And they're dropping well. They've really softened up their hands and they're playing great pickleball right now. A lot now. of confidence. Okay, high third. Uh, little miscommunication between these boys, but that scoreboard is two, correct. 7-2 seven, seven, is the score. So 2-7-1, Jesse Irvin to serve. And Sox says that is the no-go zone, Annalie Waters. And what I like is he didn't two. take a step back. Usually if you see a speed up there, you step That's back left. off the kitchen line. He stood his ground. It's exactly what he needed to do. His hands were ready to go. Came out on top. Shows why he's one of the best 
doubles tennis players in the world with those magic hands. Okay, a little miss from Isner, but has played a very clean game too until that point. Three, seven, two. And look at Isner attacks Anna Lee Waters and Sock finishes it. Good look at Seven, Lee three, Waters one. going, I don't know what's happening right now, but no, they need had, to get it going. And we had a switch on the women's side. Look at her go and look at John Isner finish. Wow. These guys are on fire right now. And Eight, kept three, that gigantic foot out of the kitchen, which is not easy to do for a man of his size, six feet ten. Sock running around his backhand at the kitchen and paid the price and blamed the court. We all do it. I like the setup, though, that the change the women have made of putting Waters on the right and Irvin on the left. She has a really good deep slice dink that I think is going to create a lot of problems. Oh, look at Sock pull that down the line. And Sock is coming for Anna Lee Waters, 9-3. Who saw a third game in this coming? Not one soul. Especially me. <laughs> Especially Cameron Blackwood, who'd already packed up her things. You need to hang out for a minute, Miss Blackwood. I'm excited. Yeah. I love this. Great deep return. OK, big mountain to climb. Two of the best competitors on the PPA tour, and those two right there. Jesse Irvin smiling away. Oh, no. Technically, the ref did call it. Yes, but we are. <laughs> we are going to take that from them, too. All right. 4 9. Welcome to Pickleball, boys. Oh, goes for the drop shot again, and then. Big 180 spin around, 9-5 is the lead. 5-9-1 again, regular scoring for our exhibition. Sack, just get that out of here, says Anna Lee Water. Sock tried to flick it over to that forehand. She said, no, no, no. I didn't think these girls were we're going away without no, a fight. No, no, no. And John Isner is up for the task. Look at this. You just can't imagine that a paddle could be there. Whose arms are that long? John Isner's are. Yes. Okay, here they come. Choo -choo. Seven, nine, two. Seven, nine, two. Oh, it just sneaks over. Wild swing from Anna Lee Waters. So, nine, seven, one, nine, Jack seven, Sock nine. to serve. Oh, and a big serve. And it is game point wow. for the tennis stars. 10 7 1. Oh, can't Second make serve. the third under first chance. Second try for Isner and Sock. Two game points saved. What I like is they changed Seven, around one. everything from game one and coming into game two. So they've they've done a great job of uh. playing pickleball in this game two. Seven, and two. they have yes, they're you know Seven, the girls ten, are coming two. back as we thought they would anyways, but they need to hold their heads up high because they have been creating a lot of good opportunities for themselves and taking the tennis game out of it and Really picking out some good pickleball patterns and 
creating some uh, confusion on the side of Waters and Irvin. I was not expecting that. 8-10. Oh, Sock is there. What a drop by Isner. But reaching a little too much there, and the lead is down 2-1. Nine, ten, two. Oh, faked the drop shot that he's been using. What a get from Sock. Oh, and goes for the lob. ATP from Jack Sock, and we've got a <laughs> swirling, twirling chest bump. And they have another chance at a game point here. to see it, but here Loving we go. It. Welcome back, everybody, to the PPA Bubbly Team Championships presented by MGM Rewards. We're at Mandalay Bay, and this is something else. Isner and Sock, shut out, run over in game number one, 11-0. Right the ship. The ship was leaking. It was leaking, game but they got to the finish line. Win game two, 11-9. Who will take game three and all the bragging rights that go with it? Point. Just deep from Isner. So the ladies get out in front early. One There's a good two. look at Jesse Irvin. Oh no. And now a ball off the tape, Cameron. I think the girls do need a little love right now. <laughs> no, I don't Turn think they two. expected the boys to come out like they did in game two. They really made some great adjustments. They slowed the game down. They started playing pickleball up at the kitchen line, creating patterns, picking their moments. And that's why they won game two, rightfully so. So looking for this to be a really competitive game three. the best ATP in the women's game. Jesse Irvin runs it down. Sock was there, just wasn't solid on that. And a three nothing run at least to start game number three. Oh no. And now it's four. Here a lot of the men. I know Ryan Sherry was over there coaching up the boys. One of the best singles players on the tour. Oh, hello, no luck winner. And they might switch sides without touching the ball. Yeah, and, and that's just, that's experience right there. They're really starting to pull these guys a little wide, then they're looking to suck, sock in just a little bit, opening up that line. Anna Lee Waters just misses getting there. All right, so. Isner right there to serve. They do get a chance to serve before the switch. Now, can they score? Second serve. Not with that third. Good energy from Sock and Isner here, two. though. And way too high from Sock and Irvin. Makes quick use of that. So, five zero one. Five zip. 
And Annalie Waters is everywhere. And all. They did in game two. They gotta gotta find that mojo. Second serve. And I would like them to go down the middle a little bit more. I think that's where they've gotten the majority of the points because Irvin and Waters don't play together often or at all. That there is that miscommunication down the middle, and they've gotten a lot of free points off of that. Good handle of the net cord by. Isner and then lets it go. All right, maybe Two, it's side. Six, you know, all the points have been served on that side here in game three. And Jack Sox speeds it up down the middle per Cameron Blackwood's recommendation and finishes. So they are on the board. He's playing straight up, not stacking One, anybody six, anywhere. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, top spin lob from Sock, and Anna Lee Waters tried a tweener. Two, Here's six, a good look from Netcam. Just couldn't get quite underneath it. And Sock is there after a great defensive volley from Isner, and they've cut the lead in half. Three. And you saw just how far apart oh, yeah. Jesse Irvin and Annalie Waters were on the court. That Three, middle six, is one. wide open right now. Boy, and Isner is hitting some Second buttery serve. thirds, but it's got to make a less ugly fifth Three, six, there. Two. but. Nice rampage there, got three. It's a good look at the big man. Let replay. Can't wait to cheer his Georgia Bulldogs on in the college football three, playoff six, in a few days' time. Look at that get from Irvin. <laughs> Irvin's just hanging out on the side of the court watching. It's like AL's won enough. <laughs> Good natured fun there. Six so one. they get three. Let's see if they can get the ball back. Uh -oh. That is a head scratcher. And that's Seven what happens. You start to get a few points on the board, and then you think, oh, I'm going to go for a little bit more, a little bit more, and then you go for too much. Second serve. And that's what happened there with Isner. Let's go ahead. Take a step back, Seven, let's soften three, up those hands, and let's just make the ball. Just a nasty two-y from Isner and a big finish. Okay. So just one there. Three, seven, one. Big serve from Sock. Keeps Anna Lee back. But look at her not only fight forward, but blast the big man. Isner started turning sideways the second that ball went up. He knew she was coming in. It, it's a great move. It's a, she really does a shake and bake yes. for herself. And midpoint. Midpoint, correct. Great deep return and beautiful drop. Look at this. Oh no. After some gorgeous defense, Sock can't get the backhand Seven, roller one. in there. Point. 
You heard Isner say, I knew it, and she knew it too, unfortunately. Ooh, that was going to be a Second fun serve. ball there. Some nice balance from Sock there. Almost fell in. Three and one. Yeah, okay. Yes, Point. Hello, John Isner. He's doing well. He's now Four he's one. whether he knows it or not, really kind of learning the slide. <laughs> and not that he has to move much and like I said, he's almost as Second tall serve. as the entire kitchen there. But I really like that he's seeing the ball a little bit better and adjusting his feet to Four be ready two. to counter those balls. Yeah, and he's got to let Sock come over and just blast that forehand opportunity Seven. there. Oh, no. A man who is known for his aces, single Pickle faults one. there. That's all it takes here in pickleball. Obviously, three points from winning the battle of the sexes are the ladies. Second serve. No damage done, okay. Couple of nice thirds. Things could get mighty interesting. Yeah. And why not? Why not? Lady Luck can be on the guy's side too. Oh, I take those every one. day, all the time. No, no sorry, not sorry. We're just moving on, we got five. Oh, these thirds from Isner are gorgeous. And it's weird, I've played against him. The ball comes from a different plane because he's so tall. You're like, how can that be coming from a knee and still be in? And it almost doesn't have a loft. No, it's flat. The trajectory, yes, yes it is flat and, and it's heavy. So you see on the other side with Waters and Irvin, when it comes down, they're almost getting pushed off their back yeah. foot just trying to pick Second up that serve. drop. Like I said, you give him three months, it's going to be Six deadly. Within two. Oh, and a gorgeous forehand as Anna Lee Waters was having to cross as they chose to switch it. Seven, eight, two. Drama building here on center court at Mandalay Bay. Seven, eight. Look at that drop. And those hands of Sock. See Kim Kleiser's in the back there. He, probably a little torn between yes. the two because she now is an owner of a MLP team and wants to see some girls win, but she's a tennis player and watching these guys. Oh, and a very ambitious choice from Irvin, or excuse me, from Isner at eight all. Okay, eight, eight. Bragging eight rights and so much more on the line here. Oh, look at that ATP defense from Sock. Second serve. Rare miss from Waters there. And a violent ATP, I mean, Ernie from Sock. He, he, he was in the air before Urban even hit it, knowing I'm going to go ahead and take this Ernie. Look at that beautiful Ernie from Sock. My goodness, they get the ball back. Eight all and another gorgeous third from Isner. And a great poach from Sock. The boys have come all the way back and they lead it 9-8. Nine, eight. Nine, eight, one. I would have lost a lot of money. <laughs> this is the city to do that in, Cam. Oh Second my, serve. and after all those beautiful thirds at 9-8, Isner can't find the range. Second try to get to 10 and a match point. Okay, 
Little, little, Do we little, have, um, little crack. A basket? Yeah, over there. He's got a basket. There we go. So we're switching out go. the ball here. There you go. My goodness. Just missed there, too. How she can let that go at 981. Nine but uh, if anyone knows the dimensions better than her, I don't know who that is. Oh, look at that drop again from Hi. Isner. Ladies and gentlemen, they have come all the way back. Look at the strut in Isner. It is match point for the tennis stars on Tennis Channel. Oh, no. And he can't find the range on that one. So a match point saved by the ladies. Here we go. Tremendous hands from Sock and Isner. Yeah, they're really seeing the ball off of the ladies' paddles here very well. Oh, no. What I like that they're doing so well is their, their change of pace, which sometimes you don't get right over when you come over to pickleball. Is It's just bang, bang, bang every ball, but there's a lot of finesse in their game. So Isner with the mistake. It's 9-10-2. And Anna Lee Waters speeds it up. Match point goes to the other side. 10 10 2. Uh, win by one. This is it. Okay. Yes, just just everybody clarifying. There's Annalie Water. Wait. Oh, the players are changing the format, folks. Okay. So, you know, why not? All right, so we're going to win by two in game number three. Okay. We won by 11 in game one, so it's fine. Oh, no. Isner step back, Tui. He better be thanking everyone for yes. agreeing with the win by two. Match point for the ladies. And another dropper from Isner. So both sides have saved a match point. Just absolute filth on the thirds. It's a heavy, heavy third that he's hitting. 11, 11, and he's hitting it with confidence right now. Yeah, it might be time to return somewhere else. And they have won three rallies in a row, and they have their second match 11, 11, point. Oh, and a little coaching much like they do before any serve in a big tennis match. And they have done it! So, no. Isner lose wow. game one 11-0 and come roaring back to win 11-9, 13